Here's another Lewis structure to draw. This is ethanol, CH3CH2OH. The way this is written gives you a clue about how the atoms are bonded together. Now in the previous example, we showed that hydrogen is satisfied with just two electrons. And hydrogen, because of that fact, will always be terminal. If you tried to put hydrogen as a central atom, you're going to end up putting too many electrons around the hydrogen. So when you see a structure like this one, we know that the hydrogen will be terminal. CH3 implies that the carbon is bonded to those three hydrogens. Then we have another carbon, so that carbon is bonded to the first one. This carbon has two hydrogens connected to it. And then we have an oxygen connected to a hydrogen. The number of valence electrons, carbon has four, three hydrogens, three more, carbon four, two hydrogens, two more, oxygen six, and hydrogen one more. So that is 20 valence electrons in this picture. When we connect the terminal to the central, we don't have to show the dots, we can just go directly to single lines. So the terminal to the central, and then also the central atoms, when you have more than one, have to be connected to each other. So this took a total of 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16 out of our 20 valence electrons. All of the hydrogens are satisfied because each one has two electrons around it. Both of the carbons have a total of two, four, six, eight electrons around it, so they're satisfied with the octet rule. The only one that's not is the oxygen, which right now has four electrons around it. It wants to have eight, and we have four electrons left over. Put them on the central atom, that'll satisfy that oxygen. So this is the Lewis structure of ethanol. We can do carbon dioxide the same way. Oxygen is more electronegative, so it's going to go on the outside. Carbon in the middle makes it more symmetrical. Total number of valence electrons, each oxygen contributes 6 and the carbon contributes 4, so we should have 16 electrons in the picture. Connect terminal to central, that takes 4 electrons. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10, that'll satisfy the oxygen on the left. Then 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 satisfies the oxygen on the right. However, the carbon is not satisfied. This carbon only has four electrons around it. So in order to satisfy the carbon, this is where we have to rearrange the electron pairs. And when you rearrange electron pairs, that means non-bonding electrons are going to turn into bonding electrons. We can keep oxygen with eight electrons and give carbon some more if we move, for example, this lone pair and turn it into a bonding pair. And we could do the same thing with the non-bonding electrons on the right. So we're going to end up with this Lewis structure. Each one of the atoms has eight electrons around it. All the octet rules are satisfied, and we have the correct number of electrons, 16, in this picture.